Welcome back to the Gun Dungeon, guys. We've got a good one today. This is the G2 Research Telos. Hope I pronounced that correctly. This is a nine millimeter plus P, solid copper premium self-defense ammunition. Uh, grain weight, grain weight, grain weight, grain weight. I do not see it. So I don't know how much the bullets actually weigh themselves. Patent pending, made in the USA. These are controlled fragmentation rounds. And wow, look at the cavity on that bullet. That is like a soup bowl. <laughs> that sucker is deep and wide. And the bullets themselves feel pretty light compared to, they're definitely lighter than a 115 grain bullet or something like that. I don't know what the velocities are gonna be on this, but we're gonna be shooting it through this little Springfield Hellcat for a short barrel demonstration. And then we're gonna use our trusty old Glock 19 for a more full-size co uh, comparison. I know it's not a full-size gun, but it's a very common size gun. So we're gonna be using that. If it goes through the denim correctly with this, I don't think we'll have any problems with the Glock 19. So really the, the true telltale here is gonna be the short barrel and how it does with the denim with that huge cavity in there. We have a chronograph set up, so we will actually get our velocities. We have four layers of denim and we have old jail block Jerry ready to ride. He may go for a ride on this one. I'm hoping the, the fragments don't come out the top of the block and take him out with shrapnel. But we'll get set up here. Got a brand new block in the front from Clear Ballistics. Like to thank them for helping the channel out. Also, G2 Research did provide this ammunition free of charge to the channel. So thank, thank you to them. Go support those guys out there helping out small channels, which just helps you guys get more content. So appreciate G2 Research, but let's get loaded up and try these in the jail block. One thousand one hundred and twenty one feet per second out of the Springfield Hellcat. And look at that. Poor Jerry just narrowly escaped catching one of those fragments. <laughs> but that's pretty catastrophic. The fragments make it to about four and a half to four and three quarter inches into the jail. And then after the fragmentation, got a little bit more right here. Those petals made it to about eight and a half or so. Jerry did take a little jump on that one, not huge, but a little jump. And then there sets the base of our bullet. And that is about 11 and three quarter inches into the jail. So just under our 12 inch minimum set by the FBI. Let's see what this thing will do in round number two. I'm excited to see how it does out of the Glock 19 on the third shot. But let's see how it does in one more shot from the Springfield Hellcat. So I didn't pick up a reading on that one. I shot a little to the left and I did that on purpose. I wanted to see how one of these if these fragments are coming out how, what it would do to that cardboard so you can see our shot over here can't see a whole lot from this angle because it's right directly behind that but it's still chaos just mass chaos in the first three or four inches and look it came out the block and one of the fragments went through oh, sorry I've cut that part out had my address and name and everything on the shipping label on the back side of this but there you go, that went through that after coming out the side of the block here. And there's our base, the exact same distance penetration into the block. So let's see how it does. I'm gonna put this one up a little bit higher, the shot, hopefully, and it'll kind of separate it from those two. And let's see how it does out of the Glock 19. One thousand two hundred and forty two feet per second from the Glock 19. That's a pretty significant increase in velocity Top wound track there guys. Look at that That is just chaos from those three shots. That's just a mess. I would not want that inside of me and Our base went to almost exactly the same distance as the other two 
So the penetration performance is right at that 11 and a half inch mark out of all three, regardless of velocity. And looks like we may have actually had a fragment shoot out the top, that little up swoop there, and then there's nothing. So yeah, that came out the top of that block there. So, I mean, the range for these, these pedals is quite dramatic. You can see there's one almost against the table there from that second shot on the other side. So that's quite a bit of range in this gel here for those, those fragments. There's really nothing to dig out of here to show you that you can't see right here. I'm not going to try to dig all those pedals out individually. Did we? Look at that. We got another hole from that second shot. So that little wound track went whoop all the way out from the center of this block and this block is six inches this way so about three inches and it exited the block and went through the cardboard that's wild all right guys a good friend of mine kentucky patriot go check him out he's gonna have i'm gonna have a link to his channel below he does a lot of really cool stuff over there at his channel a lot of ballistics testing he does some meat targets and stuff like that great channel good friend of mine local guy kentucky dude gotta support kentucky go over there and check his channel out tell him i sent you when you get there in the comments link is in the description below kentucky patriot mm -hmm.